James Ellington, not the time today. What what do we take from today's race? Uh, nothing really. It was a tired, 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 conservative run. Um, obviously, I'll say that now because uh, in the race I was running my legs up. When I look back on it, I think uh, probably could have run a bit, a bit harder. Um, I'm still trying to learn how to run the bed where I need to gas it, or where I need to run at 70%. Or, you know what I'm saying? So, coach just said, Go in this race today, you got nothing from it, so just try something. And I tried it, I tried to run a bit of a relaxed bend, and I had more gas at the end, but I just didn't get potential cooking up. What did you take from this season? Um, the main thing is experience again, learning about my event. Uh, I think it gives fire in my belly again for next year. And I think coming off last year, I didn't come into this season complacent, but I came into the season expecting a lot. I came off the back of a season where I was consistently running 20.4s in every Diamond League. And I was thinking, yeah, when I come to the season, I'm going to open up 20.4 and end up running 20 0, which I should have done, but for whatever reasons I didn't. Um, but we'll look at that when we get back to the drawing board and start a free winner training. Your training partner, Mario Rooney, I've heard him say it many a times that James has been running 19.9, 20 seconds around that time in training. Yeah. What do you take? Is it from the winter or is it, what is, what is it? Do, um, do you feel like you need to put a different winter in this year? Or? No, I think my winter was perfect this year. I came out in America and I was open up 10-1 um, and 20.4. It's been a bit of an up and down season with the group. I mean, everyone's been racing all over the place, and it's hard. Obviously, my coach got so many athletes, and he's able to fly here for athletes competing in there. So sometimes we can go a couple of weeks without seeing him, which is kind of tough. But again, we've all learned from it as a group, and um, we've come together with our coach, Reyna, and sit down and work out something that'll work for next year. So when we get back off the plane from America, he's at the right place at the right time. Do you feel um, the gold and the relay, is that, is that going to be the highlight for, your, for the whole season? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I think even those guys who've done well, like Adam Jamini, and got gold for this individual, I think we don't get to run as a team all the time. So when you get to the share and experience together as a team winning gold, I think it kind of is a more, more, what's the word? It's more of an amazing, of an amazing experience we share together because you you're all at the same time, you're all running around the track celebrating together and you can share it. Whereas obviously many individuals are great, but so no one else is in it with you. So. Do you feel from being left out at the Commonwealth that maybe you, you, want, you wanted to even that bit more? Um, not really, I mean, I knew I should have. I've been in the team from day dot. Um, and without sounding like arrogant, I know what I can do on the relays and I know, I know I'm the best bender in the country. So, me getting pushed out of the team in Commonwealth Games, I mean, yeah, I was annoyed. But I didn't need to say nothing about it. I think the public spoke on my behalf. And did they, just to, sorry to interrupt, did they ever give you an explanation on why you were dropped, if you're allowed to say? I mean, they just thought I was the, the team that run quicker, you know. Um, obviously, I brought my case forward where I thought I should be in the team, but the coach always knows best, doesn't he? So I took the England coach's word, Clarence Callender, and let him put the team forward and came back at Europeans and Rob Stone stuff 38 with me and the team so and have you uh, spoke to Michael Johnson about um, the comments about your shorts and stuff like that? Oh, he's just a little hater isn't he? I mean <laughs> he could, he could, I can take my shorts off in it. I can change that so it's not a problem for me. <laughs> have you spoke have you actually spoke to him then? Nah I mean is he just Yeah, yeah. no you know it's pretty friendly but I mean yeah. he's probably not even engaging with me. To, to, to him I'm probably small for but I mean, if I see him, I'll, I'll speak to him. I, he's my idol as a kid. And um, I just think he gives us a bit of too much slack sometimes on the BBC, which, which ain't great. We're employing you to comment, commentate and you're, you're, you're slagging off the same country they employ you. So I don't agree with that. And finally, after the relay success, there was obviously things that happened earlier on in the season. I spoke to Harry about it, yeah. and he said, no, it's all all right now. Obviously, there was a certain person that pulled out that didn't want to run in yeah. it. Yeah. Can you give A-Lane, we've always had a, this is my final interview for A-Lane, I'd just like to know what your thoughts are finally on this. Um, well, you know, uh, I think sprinters are going to have rivalry. We're like heavyweight boxers, I mean, mm -hmm. all of us are, We've been friends at some point. Yeah. Um, there was a misconfusion between the two groups. I think people, not on my side, I was pretty clear of the situation, but yeah. maybe on the other side they got a bit confused and things flared up and it kind of... Was there, 
was there a conversation after you though you won the European gold and said right this is it now? Do you know what I spoke to I spoke to the people in question. Um, I spoke to the individual the athlete. And I said to him, I said, well done, you he congratulated me off the uh, relay. And that was it, we haven't really said much but I would just like to say all the rumours ain't true. And not everyone who you think is the bad guy is the bad guy. Um, yeah, that's what I say. Thank you, James, and good luck for next year. Cool.